Communities are preparing for the Take Our Border Back convoy. This week it started in Virginia Beach before entering Texas on Thursday. This is video of people supporting the cars in Southeast Texas. Members of the convoy say that their goal is to shed light on the amount of migrants crossing into the U.S. illegally through Texas. And last night, the convoy reached Dripping Springs just outside Austin, and they gathered at the One Shot Distillery and Brewery. There were speakers, there was music, hundreds of people welcomed the convoy into the hill country. Ted Nugent and former governor of Alaska Sarah Palin made it to the gathering. So for you all to be standing up and saying, you know what, enough is enough. We're not going to take it anymore. We're going to take our country back. You are Texans. You're the epicenter of this. Thank you so much for being the activists, for being the hardworking, independent, patriotic Americans that you are. Thank you. He didn't respond adequately. Others mentioning their God-given right to protect their country. When the rally was over, the convoy made its way through Dripping Springs, getting honks and support or an opposition either way. The convoy, which calls itself the Army of God, plans to reach Eagle Pass tomorrow. There are no specific details about what they're going to do when they get to the border town. Now, this came the same day as Florida's Governor Ron DeSantis announced Florida is sending a thousand members of its National Guard to the border for Texas to deploy as necessary. Governor Greg Abbott and 14 other uh, governors are going to be headed to the border this weekend. On Sunday, the governor and other Republican governors will have a press conference at Shelby Park. That is the city park the state has taken over in Eagle Pass. It's a common place for people to cross the Rio Grande from Mexico. The Biden administration has criticized that takeover, saying it is preventing federal border patrol agents from being able to access the border and do their jobs.